Good morning to you all, dear students of class eight. Today, once again, I am here to take your as usual class. Now, I am going to teach you the fourth page of the same topic. Here, I am going to start with the very first paragraph of this last page. The door opened wider, and Bruno stepped. back as a figure appeared but it wasn't father so here you see the room in which both these two children bruno as well as the little girl maria where they were living together at the moment in the meantime suddenly the little boy bruno realizes and come to know that the door of this room has been opened very very wide so in this way as soon as the door gets opened very wide he steps back because because of the afraidness and instantly he happens to notice that there appears a figure in front of him and he also realizes realizes it very well that the figure which he has noticed is not of his father's figure it is somebody else why because it was a much younger man and not at all as father either the figure was such looking that it was of a younger man the figure looked like as if he was a young person not like that of father who was very very old or matured and at the same time the figure also appeared as if it was not as tall as father either but he wore the same type of uniform the common thing about this figure which he noticed and the father's figure was that both of them were wearing the similar type of uniform okay and the uniform which they both of these two were wearing were also as many decorations on it it has very less decorations on it means it was a very simple type of uniform that this figure was also wearing at the same time the father also used to wear in different occasions he was carrying a box in his hands and walking towards the staircase what else the little boy bruno happens to notice here the figure which he notices here was also carrying a type of box in his hands and it was in a great hurry it was rushing towards to the staircase at that moment he gave bruno a quick nod and continued on his way so in the meantime when the figure was appeared the the figure which it came in front of the little boy bruno it happens to stare towards to the little boy and once it stares towards to the little boy it also nods its head to him what do you mean by nod here nodding means a kind of slight movement made by the head sometimes it is made for approval agreement sometimes for disagreement so similar type of nodding of head it was done by the figure here in front of the little boy and as soon as he does so he once again passes away here goes ahead towards to the staircase region so this is what children what we come to learn here and understand in full in details about what it happened with little bruno here when he was staying inside the room when he was with the little girl maria this type of incident it had occurred which made little boy bruno to feel very very strange at that time because he was not knowing that person very well who had come here who had been here for that what it was the reason which make him to feel really very much in confusion this is what we learn in this particular paragraph of the story children who was that asked bruno the young man had seemed so serious and busy that he assumed he must be someone very important here we come to know that the boy was very eager and anxious to know about the presence of that man why he had come here what was the purpose of coming who was he these are the various questions that it arises into the mind of the little boy bruno and at the same time the young man had seemed so serious and busy and the reason behind these questions coming in his mind was also very simple 
because the way in which the young man had behaved the way in which he was so busy to come at advance ahead towards to the staircase region at the same time the man was also found to be so serious at that time he was not making any kind of dialogue between in any other person he just came and straight advanced ahead towards to the region staircase region these all activities of the man makes the boy to feel really very much strange that is why he thinks that the man is very serious and busy by all these things he assumes that he must be someone who is very very important here this is what we come to learn here in this particular page in this particular paragraph of the lesson children so let us go more ahead one of your father's soldiers i suppose said maria in the meantime the house sir the house maid girl house help girl maria suggests the boy what does she suggest she says that maybe the person we to whom you have seen here maybe he is one of your father's soldiers maybe he is your father's one of the friends he has come here for certain purpose he has some important work to perform maybe that is why he has come here to meet with your father today i suppose said maria we will go to know them in time very soon we will be able to come to know about his arrival here so you don't have to get worried you don't have to take it in a serious way very soon we will come to know it this is how the house help girl maria makes the little boy bruno understand and make him quite clear about the reasons for which might be the this uh, young man had been here in this time at the moment i don't think i like him said bruno he was too serious but bruno does not like his activities the way in which the man behaved he did not talk with him he did not he did not show any interest towards to him he did not had any such type of friendliness towards to the boy that is why the boy speaks out here that i do not think that i like him he does not prefer that particular young man who had come here he was too serious and his seriousness was much more boring for him because what he likes what does the children usually like the most people becoming more and more friendly with them people becoming more and more coming closer to them and giving them the time as far as possible much more they will converse with them talk with them have some past time with them this is what the children usually prefer which that young man did not do at all that is why he says so that he did not like that man at all i don't even think there is going to be anyone who play with other than gretel so that is why he here comments so that he doesn't believe that anybody is going to give him friendship here anybody is going to come and play with him here anybody is going to come and make friendship with him here except his own little young sister gretel this is what is now sure and certain about it because now he has come to know that nobody is here coming and joining with him to give him the time and play with him and give company to him and what fun is that after all and he doesn't think that the sister's presence is going to give him the sister's company is going to give him any pleasure anymore isn't it sister's presence is not that much going to be fun time for him rather than the friend's presence he usually likes and happens to enjoy more and more friend's presence to give him the company so that he can enjoy and play with them much more in a very pleasureful manner rather than with her, with his sister that is why he says so here children she is a hopeless case and what does he remark more about his own sister she is a hopeless case because usually he finds sister much more boring to play with much more not enjoyable to play with so much this is what the reason it was that the boy little boy bruno speaks in such a way regarding his own sister now we move on to the next para children he felt as if he was about to cry again but stopped himself so in this type of very terrible situation the little boy bruno was just about to cry but somehow he manages to stop by himself and stop crying he looked around the room without fully lifting his eyes up from the ground what did he do the next 
he just tries to lift up his eyes from the ground and tries to locate something in the far away in the distant in the room whether he would be able to locate something would be interesting for him at least to engage himself in this type of hour of distress this is what the child bruno was trying his best to find out something of the thing of interest for himself trying to see whether there was anything of interest to be found there wasn't or there didn't seem to be but finally it was found that there wasn't anything there didn't seem to be such any object in this particular room so after some time once again he keeps his eyes on to every object here and there but then on thing one thing happens to catch his eyes so finally he happens to catch his eyes towards to one particular object what was it let us see over in the corner of the room opposite to the door there was a window very far away in the corner of the room just opposite to the door near by the ceiling there was a window in the ceiling that stretched down into the wall and that particular window had been stretched down towards to the wall this is a particular object which the little boy bruno's attention was drawn towards to it why let us see what was the reason behind it he walked slowly towards it hoping that from here he might be able to see all the way back to berlin so now slowly and gradually he steps forward towards to this particular window expecting and hoping that from this window he would be able to notice and gaze towards to very very far away towards the city of berlin which was his earliest earlier home place isn't it this is what now he was believing and expecting that through this window he would be able to see the city of berlin children in his house way back to berlin and his house and the streets around it not only his house but also he would be able to see the streets and the houses and the crowd of people people going to and fro here and there on the streets talking having discussions fun time isn't it everything that the little boy bruno bruno would be able to notice through this window and have some pleasureful moment in this hour of very much distress and unhappiness this is what little boy bruno was now thinking all about it isn't it not only the streets around he also would be able to and the tables where people would be sitting and then having some hilarious stories very fun giving stories that the people would be having and enjoying all this sight that he expected that he would be able to notice through the window which he was now at the moment advancing ahead so that he could gaze and enjoy the beauty of the city of berlin which he was really missing at the moment children so in this way today we have come to learn the entire chapter so this was the last page of the chapter i have completed your all the entire story of the chapter i think i hope you have been able to understand it very well if so after the class is over i will be making the click of the various exercise pages so that i will be sending you and you will be performing performing all the exercises works grammar exercises question answers later on i will be giving to you and the remaining notes whatever reference to context the writing works also we will be performing it uh, one by one later on so this much for today i have completed the chapter now remaining we will be doing it later thank you children